Well, hey folks, my name is Brad, and for me, the 2023 treasure hunting season has come to a close. It was an amazing year with literally hundreds of treasures unearthed, but in today's video, I have composed a top 10 list of my most valuable, historically significant, and overall favorite finds from 2023. I hope you enjoy and that you'll join me for whatever adventures await in 2024. Number 10. This is awesome. This might be my favorite thing we found today. Really? I found one in a different shape in the woods before. It actually says sample bottle on it. I wonder if that's why it's such a kind of a peculiar shape. Yeah, it could be. Sample bottle, Ms. Dr. Kilmer's Swamp Root Kidney Remedy. Binghamton, Binghamton, New York. Swamp Root, and it's perfect. Somebody was having some kidney problems. What's the... What's the medicine for that? Well, obviously swamp root. Absolutely. <laughs> I'd take some swamp root. That's awesome. And it's a sample size too. I wonder if that makes it rare and valuable. That is an awesome find. Favorite of the day, easily. Anything that's like kind of quacky like that, you know, swamp root. It's amazing what they let people get away with back in the day. Yeah. You could put anything in a bottle and have 10 of your friends say it's the most amazing thing you've ever had and you've got a business. Number nine. 88, that's a nice target, sounds deep. What is that? It looks like a coin, but I'm pretty sure this is a token. You can see it says year. I think it says year. It's a good year. So what it appears we have here is an advertising token of some kind. I'm gonna give this a spray, see if we can get it cleaned up a little bit. All right, I got this thing cleaned up and it is way cooler than I could have imagined. So what it actually says is good for four years of prosperity. Four years of prosperity, why four years? Well, because on the other side, we have the Republican elephant and the word Hoover, a lucky pocket piece. This token was made in 1928 as an advertising piece for the presidential campaign of Herbert Hoover. And as some people may remember, he was elected president. And in less than a year, Wall Street crashed and caused the Great Depression for the remainder of his four-year term. Four years of prosperity may have been speaking too soon. <laughs> Man, what a piece of American history. I wonder if this was lost accidentally or tossed from frustration. Makes you wonder. What a lucky pocket piece. Wild. One of my favorite finds in a while, for sure. Number eight. Seventy-four. Whoa. Are you kidding me? Wow. So I have found numerous uh, miraculous metals in the past. And as far as I could tell through my research, they were all post 1900. I'm not sure I've ever found anything religious from the 1800s and earlier here in the mountains of Vermont. Until now, I think. Man. Old brass. Let me get it cleaned off a little bit here. It does appear as though all of the pieces are there. But man, look at the detail on this thing. Almost certainly 1800s. Just think about the story behind this. Was it lost? How distraught must they have been once they realized it was missing? We'll never know. But what a find. What a find. The story it could tell. A treasure. 
number seven. All right, this is a beautiful sounding loud 86. You see that? Oh, heck yeah. Man, how awesome did that come out of the ground, opening up that clump of dirt to reveal an old copper coin. And there is text on there. I don't recognize it upon first glance. Oh, B-E-R. It says Liberty. Look at this. We have a wreath around the center. Wow. All right, I got it cleaned up just about as much as I can out here. And uh, this is an amazing coin. Hopefully you can make out up here the words Nova. Would have also said on the other side, Constellatio, Libertas, Justitia. This is a 1785. I can just barely make out that date down here at the bottom. Uh, Nova Constellatio coin. And the reason these coins are so special is because this was the very first coin struck under the new United States back in 1785. Incredible. A Nova Constellatio. Over the moon. Man, unbelievable. Number six. This might be iron, but sometimes it's reading a 72. goodness oh my. oh my goodness look at that do you know what that is oh man my heart's pounding what this is is the hammer to a flintlock gun and these jaws right here would have held a piece of flint this is a flintlock hammer now, the folks that lived here, they were farmers. This was a home. And this musket more than likely would have been used for hunting, right? But there's always a chance they were a veteran. This is left over from a war, potentially civil war, but this is an old gun part. Could also be from the Revolutionary War. Unbelievable. You know, looking at it in its current state, it is just a ball of rust, barely recognizable, but what an incredible piece of history. Flintlock musket part. Man, unbelievable. Number five. Look at that, it's the 60s. 60s here. I can't believe it. I just found something on my bucket list. What I have right here is in fact a New Jersey state copper. I recognized the big old shield on the back. On this side, there will be a horse head and uh, I believe a plow down below. The dates will be very similar to the Connecticut state coin, 1786, 1787. Oh man, I think it's gonna be nice. I think it's gonna be real nice. Look at that. Incredible. The side with the horse head and the plow, I think is going to clean up nicely as well. You see that there, 1786. There'd be a horse head and a plow. And then of course the shield. I don't know how many Jersey coins have been found up here in Vermont, but I can't imagine it's very many. Man. Ah, buzzing, I'm so excited. Number four. 57. Oh my 
goodness. Oh man, all right, well I was hoping one of us would find one of these today. Uh, every time I've come out, at least one of these have been found. Check that out. So this is a brass ring that was given to the natives, early 1600s, uh, by the Jesuits in an attempt to convert them to Christianity and they would have used this during the Lord's Prayer. This particular place, for some reason, you know, we can come to our own conclusions why every single Jesuit ring found here is busted. We're assuming that it was somewhat of a rejection of Christianity. They busted and tossed them. It's an interesting and sad part of uh, the history there. What an amazing find. Thanks again for bringing me here. Look at that. So this is number two that I've personally found. Incredible. <laughs> Number three. That's a nice target, 86. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Is that a little silver coin? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that's Spanish. There he is, can we read a date? There we go, that looks good. 1781, Carulos the third. So that's Charles III of Spain, 1781. Little Spanish half real. And you know, looking around, there is nothing for miles. We have stone walls, trees, and little Spanish silver coins. <laughs> Unbelievable. Man, hard to beat that one. All right, well, I just stood up from where I found that half real. And it seems like we have maybe another little high tone right there. You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. What is that? Oh my God, I think that this is US. Oh my God. All right. There is another silver coin and it is US. Man. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my gosh, sorry, my hand is literally shaking right now, but it is 1834. Absolutely beautiful coin. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to say. This never happens, finding two little silver coins together at a place this old, it just, doesn't happen. I've never found a spill of silver coins this old before. Doesn't get much better than that. Holy smokes. Number two. 73. Button. goodness that is no ordinary button man I cannot tell you how excited I am right now and how special this very simple button is as you can see it is just the number 13 on the back the shank is a peculiar shape it's called a turret shank the person who wore this button on the cuff of their coat fought in the Revolutionary War it's a French button, and after a quick Google search, it seems they participated in a raid on Lloyd's Neck, New York, and also the siege of Yorktown. And here it is, seeing the light of day once again in a field in Vermont. I cannot believe it. Revolutionary War military button. I cannot tell you how unbelievable a feeling it is to find and hold something that was involved in the Revolutionary War. How was it lost here? Why was it lost here of all places? And in amazing condition. Man, I wonder if there's more. Can't believe it. What a special find. Number one. 
What we got? Oh. You got something fun? I got something fun. Cool. What is that? Oh man, my heart's beating. My heart's beating. All right. Ooh, is that coinage? It is. Is that Spanish? I don't know. I don't think so. Well, I've never seen anything that's not Spanish that's silver in that size. It might be Spanish, but I don't think it is. I got, I got water. All right, so what we have here is a tiny little silver coin. Upon first glance of just the text around the outside, I don't recognize it, but it could be Spanish. The likely thing is that it's Spanish. Pretty sure that says 1745. What in the world is this? So we did a bunch of Googling on our phones. It is a 1745 German tall, taller, T-H-A-L-E-R. Man, that's for it upside down. Look at that thing. 1745. Wild. A beautiful beautiful coin uh, from a country I've never found an old coin from that's for sure unbelievable <laughs>